We're gonna get ready with some Cargo Cosmetics and I'm gonna to introduce to you guys some of my top picks and selects. Starting out with one of my favorites, the Swimmable Longwear Foundation. This is something that's high water content. It's blendable, but it's also not too heavy. Um, I like this because this is buildable coverage. So I am gonna start using, let's do number 20. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, warm it up, and I'm also gonna do a little bit of tan. I have a slight spray tan that's um, setting right now. So I want it to kind of look a little warm, but I don't want it to kind of take away from my natural skin color. So. One of the tips and tricks that I've learned is always to warm up the foundation on the back of your hand. And I'm just gonna use my fingertips when I'm applying this. Again, I use 10 and 20. So go ahead and I'm just gonna slowly start warming that up and working my way in there. When it comes to foundations, I find that living in a really humid climate, I need something that's not going to not be breathable on my skin. And I like that this I like that this sets and that it won't budge. So we're gonna go in there. Now I have a little bit of a scar on my nose from wearing the mask. It's kind of hard, especially with COVID. So I'm gonna use that, probably a little more to cover that up right on top of that. I typically don't wear powder because I am started to work out a lot again and going outside, I like to put on my SPF spray and I find that with the powder, it can get a little cakey. So there we go, we're gonna work that in. Good. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah. Always work up into there. Sometimes I miss that. All right. There we go. The next thing that I'm going to do is take my HD powder. I'm going to use number 25. This is really great. So as far as high definition, if you guys are doing your own tutorials or you're working with clients and you need it to be a powder that's gonna carry through on camera or on film, the HD is the way to go. I'm gonna use the color 25 because I find that it, it says it's light, but it's actually got a really great um, matching tone color for my skin. So here we go. And I'm gonna Take my magic brush, I put a little too much on there. We'll talk about the magic brush in just a little bit. But the magic brush is scientifically engineered to give you that picture perfect look when you're putting on your powder. So of all the products that I really love from Cargo, I'm gonna have to say this is one of my top selects. Again, I'm gonna put a little bit there on that part right there. Yep, just get rid of that little shine. Mm -hmm. There we go. This has a custom dome shape, so it really gives precise application for the powder. Um, your skin's gonna look a lot smoother, and the powder never looks chalky. So definitely invest in the Magic Brush, and that's gonna be available on the Shop My Look link that will be in my bio. Also Cargo's bio as well. So then the next thing I'm going to do is a lot of people have asked you want to what is something that you've learned when it comes to makeup, a tip or a trick. I believe brows are everything. My brows, I bleach them. Um, it might sound a little odd, but my hair is naturally very dark. So I lighten my brows every few months in order to give my face a softer look and then I fill in my brow. So we can go ahead and fill in the brow. So that's a tip and trick I've learned. I'm gonna take one of my favorites that's actually got this really great brush if you open in here. 
It is the brow. Now, sorry, the light got a little to me. So this is the Brow Defining Brow How Kit. And what you're gonna wanna do with this is you can take your applicator and I like to do brush strokes as if it were hair. So you want it to look really natural. Now you can see that's gonna help set it. It's almost like a wax that's in there. Okay, so, and I over plucked my brow in there and it has not grown back. So I'm gonna have to go a little heavier in that area, giving it brush stroke hair. I like a fuller brow, so I'm gonna come up here. I've learned that with brows, you always wanna measure from here to there. So that's a tip and trick I've learned. And then I'm just gonna brush up, right? Okay, so I'm gonna fill that in. Here we go, next one. A little bit more, I like to have it elongated out there. Then I'm gonna take it with my wax and then I'm gonna brush it up. There we go. So nice full brow. Might go a little bit more right in there. And there we go. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one of my favorite swimmable colors when it comes to eye shadow. So this is a shadow stick. This is not going to budge. Um, give it about 20 seconds to set. I do like a windshield wiper um, kind of movement to get it in. If you want to buff it out later, you can. You can use a brush to buff it out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and it's instantly gonna make my eye appear brighter. and make my eye color pop. And I'm gonna go in back in and I'm gonna buff that out just a little bit. The color that I'm using is Glacier. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush and then I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit I like using lighter shadows. If I do, I technically will do a taupe or something like a glacier color like this because I don't like to wear too much eyeshadow. I feel that it makes me look a little older. So that's something that I rarely use are um, highly pigmented colors that are a little too dark for my eyes. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, this is so easy, I'm gonna take my Texas liner. I love this, it's almost like as if, if you can't do an eyeliner, I know I can't sometimes. Look how easy that is. It literally is, you could draw as if you're an artist. And this is, look at this application right in there. So this is the Cargo Texas liner, and I'm gonna come in just a little bit and give myself a lift there. Now, if you want, you can really bring it out. It's so easy with this tip. You can give yourself a little bit of a wing. So I'm gonna get right in there. I might come in just a little bit more right in there. There. Okay, I'm gonna do this side next. Now I have lash extensions on, so for me, what I like about the Texas liner is that it's not going to break up the adhesive or the bonding from the lash extensions. It's easy to take off. I just use some mineral water, get a Q-tip, and voila, it comes off so easily. So there we go, there's that. Now, I decided to do the mascara only on the lower because I do have lash extensions and it's not really a good idea. So here we go, this is the Dare to Flare. Love this mascara. I'm just gonna work it into my lower lashes, just a little. Clean that up a bit. There we go, and there we have that. All right, let's see. 
One of the other things that I wanted to share with you guys, in case you didn't know, Cargo names its products after destinations. And it really is about fusing innovation and product and traveling the world. That's what Cargo is all about. So you take your cargo with you wherever you go. And you're going to love the names on back of the ones that I'm going to share with you in just a little bit. But I'm going to, after I put on my Texas liner and my Dare to Flare mascara, I'm going to start working on my highlighting. So I'm going to show you guys something that I like. This is the Illuminating Palette. It's Picture Perfect Illuminating Palette. There's actually three in here. It does have a bronzer, okay, but there's also two highlighters. And one of the things that I've learned to do is not overdo highlighter if I'm going to do an on-air job or um, a tutorial because you don't want it to look too, I want to say almost sheeny or glittery because it, it, for some reason, HD, when you're filming in HD, too much highlighter is not a good thing. But I am going to apply it to where I can kind of get a little bit of an accent highlight. So I'm going to go right up in there so you can see it's really pretty. It's going to stay all day. And I actually mixed the two on this one. So I did a little bit of bright and then beam. So right in there. Mm -hmm. And then the other tip and trick that I've learned is take I take the middle of my finger and I just put it on the bridge of my nose. There we go. And then I'm going to take the middle color right in there. Let me show you that one right there. It's really pretty. Beam, and I'm going to put it on my Cupid's bow. That's going to help make that sort of pronunciation look a little better, and then I'm gonna line my lips a little later with one of the swimmable colors. So, moving on. I wanted you guys to have a little look into just something that's natural as far as what I would do for a day look. And I'm gonna get one of my favorite, okay, when it comes to cargo, a lot, they're really famous for their blushes. And there's so many gorgeous colors. What I like about the Swimmable Collection, which I chose the blush from the Swimmable Collection, is that it is water resistant. But I'm gonna show you some of the beautiful colors they have. It's This is Bali. I decided to do Los Cabos because it has a kind of like corally color to it. Let me see if I can, I've got so many here. This one's so pretty too. But. What I do like about these two, they're buildable. So I found the color that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Los Cabos. Look at that really pretty sheen in there. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna swirl it around. And this is gonna give me a really just freshly flushed kind of look. Work it right in there. If I want to add more, I can. Okay. Los Cabos. It's very vivid and it's water resistant. The next thing I'm going to do is line my lip. And I have a few colors that I was looking at, but I decided to go ahead and do area right there. This is really pretty. It's a really pretty nude color. This is great because I don't typically wear a lot of lipsticks. I love gloss, but I like to have a lined lip. Now I'll go in there and I'll start lining my lip because I want it to have a very nude color. This has a little bit of a peachy pink to it. And then I am going to take my essential gloss. Let's see. On this one, I'm going to choose Fresno because I think it's really pretty. It's nude. This is a great, great lip gloss, super moisturizing. Well, leave your lips feeling tacky. There you have it. 
Fresno. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys soon again. This was my everyday look and thank you for getting ready with me and Cargo Cosmetics.